Hello, we are the Smith family and we are here to continue the series of celebrating our heroes and sheroes in black history. I'm Robert. I'm Shady. I'm Silas. I'm Seth. I'm Ray. <laughs> Did you know we have trillions of cells in our body and each of them have a job to do? What do they have to do? Well, there are different types of cells, some organized, some carry oxygen around the body, and others are used for communication, like when you have a cold or you're not feeling well. Today, we would like to tell our friends about Loretta Pleasant and how she helped to make some of the most important advancements in medical research. Loretta Pleasant is considered the mother of modern medicine, but we know her as Henrietta Lacks. She was an African-American tobacco former, farmer from Clover, Virginia. In 1951, Ms. Lax was diagnosed with an aggressive form of cervical cancer. Who do we visit when we feel sick? The doctor. That's right. That's exactly what Henrietta did. She went to a well-known hospital called Johns Hopkins to find out why she was feeling sick. 10 years later, after moving to Baltimore, Maryland with her husband and children, she entrusted Dr. Howard Jones at John Hopkins Hospital to treat the pain she began to experience in her abdomen. When she arrived at the hospital, the doctor took a tissue sample from her without her permission. Now this was common a long time ago, but now we have laws that protect us and our families when we go to the doctor. When Henrietta's doctor ran tests, he discovered something different about Henrietta's cancer cells. Did she have special cells? Yes, Henrietta's cancer cells are the source of the HeLa cell line, which is actually a combination of the first two letters of Henrietta Lacks, first and last name. Usually when conducting medical research, cells would normally die outside of the human body, but that wasn't the case for Henrietta cells. The first immortalized human cell line and one of the most important cell lines in the medical research. These became the first cultured human cells because they were found to divide indefinitely. No one had been able to keep human cells alive for a long period of time outside of the human body. George Gray of the head, the head of the tissue culture lab found that lax cells survived and replicated. Nearly seven decades after these so-called HeLa cells had now lived more than twice as long outside life's body than inside. They became one of the most important tools in, med in medicine, which damaging consequences for her family, many of whom struggled to get access to the very health care advances their mother's cells helped to make possible. Henrietta family members learned the cells that were being harvested two decades after her death. A journalist from the Rolling Stones contacted the family and revealed that her cells had been duplicated and used by many scienti scientists for research. This unethical process was among many cases that highlighted how the bodies of the African American were used in medical and scientific research. A few months after her cancer diagnosis, Henrietta passed away, but her cells continued to be used for research. They have been vital to studying diseases, including COVID-19, as well as developing vaccines for polio, chemotherapy, HIV, AIDS, cloning, and IVF. HeLa cells have been become the foundation of multi-billion dollar industry, and there are currently more than 17,000 patients involving HeLa cells. Henrietta Lacks' story led to rewriting the rules around sur surrounding ethics in healthcare. After their discovery, scientists were able to directly perform tests on human tissue outside of the body for the first time. The excitement of the HeLa cells crossed industries and geographical boundaries. HeLa cells have been made to all the way to the space, all the way to space. They were sent into space during the space race to uncover and impact the zero gravity of human cells. They were studied to determine that effects of radiation and nuclear bomb explosion. They were even used for beauty industries to test potential side effects, new cosmetics products. 
The cells were used by biomedical research all over the world to study geographic mutation and cell divide, discover potential cancer therapeutics, and development treatments for infectious disease. So even though Henrietta Lacks wasn't properly acknowledged for her amount of contributions to medicine due to HeLa cells, she will forever be known as a pioneer in the Black community and in the world. Stay tuned for more videos later this month. Bye! Bye.